right, all right, all right. Are you ready to learn today? All right, we're going to use Blender 2.8. And we are going to get rid of this cube. So hit the letter X on the keyboard. Hit delete. And then we're going to do shift and A. And we are going to go to mesh UV sphere. UV sphere. And I'm going to go ahead and hit number one to get the front. Actually, before you do anything else, go down to here where it says add UV sphere. Okay. You got to see this. Click on it. And we're going to go up and take this segment down to 16 segments, not 32. Then hit the number one on the number pad to get to the front view. You're going to go to edit mode. Hit Alt A to get rid of everything. And we're going to go up here so we can see both sides. So we're going to hit the Togo X ray and we're going to so we can see both sides. Okay, so. Just hit it one time and it's highlighted now or blue. And we are going to go ahead and we're going to box select. So click and go down to where you only have, I see three sections. So go down to right about here. Then hit the letter X. And we're going to delete the vertices. Awesome. I'm going to hit the letter uh, A. And then hit G to grab it. And let's push it up the page. If you're not up there, try to get the spoon to be above that little dot in the middle. And then you're going to hit Alt A to get rid of everything being selected. And then we are going to hit the number one. Oh, actually hit number seven on the uh, number pad to go to the top view. And I'm going to go back and undo the toggle x-ray. And I'm going to go up here and zoom in. I'm going to click right here. And then I'm going to hold the shift key and click on these two as well. Then we're going to go up here in proportional edit mode, click on it. Then I'm going to hit the letter G. And while that hits the letter G, I'm going to go ahead and push this out. Making a spoon. Click. Then come back here. And do the same thing. Going to click on one, hold shift, and click on the other two. Then I'm going to hit the letter G to grab it. I'm going to push it out. Awesome. And now I'm going to come here with these still three being selected. I'm going to hit S and Y. S and Y. And then we're going to slightly bring that in. You must hit S and Y for it to happen. Bring it in some. And now I'm going to go back to... And number one, and while those 
three are still selected. If you don't, you need to click on one of them and then hold shift or control key to select those three on that side. I'm going to go back to number one on the number pad, number one. Actually, I was supposed to rotate this, but I'm gonna go ahead and leave it. All right. Uh, while those are uh, selected up there, what you wanna do is take your mouse and you want to have it up off above this point. So I'm gonna start here, I'm gonna go up maybe several things and I'm going to hold the control key and left click on the mouse and it will form the handle. Control key, your mouse determines where you want the handle to go. So I'm gonna need to curve up. Control key and then left click. Control and left click and your, like I said, the mouse will determine where the handle's gonna go. Control key, left click, So as long as you give it a nice handle for your spoon. And I'm gonna probably do control key and do it one more time. So you wanna have this for your spoon, okay? And I'm going to go to number seven, top view, awesome. And while we got this so far, let's go ahead and hit file, save, go down to where it says untitled. I'm gonna type in spoon. And make sure you know which location you have you are saving your spoon and hit save blender file. All right, now we're gonna hit the letter C to get the circle tool. Hit the letter C for the circle tool. And like I said, you can move the mouse to make it bigger or smaller. And I'm going to click on the handle, every section except for the last one. Then I'm going to left click, and then I'm gonna hit the S for size and the letter Y, S and Y. And then we're going to drag this in, making it smaller. Awesome. Then I'm gonna hit Alt A to deselect. Hit save again, just to be safe. Don't want anything to be erased. All right, I'm gonna hit the letter A to select everything, hit the letter G. And let's just move this over some. Then hit Alt A, Alt key and the letter A to deselect. I'm gonna zoom in now. And what we're gonna do, we are going to come right here, select this one in the middle. Then I'm gonna hold the shift key and select these two as well. And then I'm gonna do S and Y. And we're gonna make this come out wider. Then I'm gonna come and select, click here. Then hold shift and select these two. And then we're gonna do S and Y again and take these out just a little bit more. Hit G and just push that out. Stand on that red line or in that area. And if you wanna come down here and do some more of these, you can do it. But I'm gonna go ahead and rotate, see how it looks. This looks good. I'm gonna now go back to object mode. I'm gonna now go down to modifier, which is the wrench. 
right here modifier we're gonna add modifier and we're gonna go to solidify and let's take the thickness up we'll go up to about 0.7 thickness that's good enough and hit apply and then we're gonna add another mod modifier and I'm gonna go to subdivision surface and let's do two awesome and hit apply rotate it around look at it if you want to go ahead and right click on it and set smooth shade smooth awesome and then I'm going to go back to number one I'm going to do shift a and we're going to add a plane and that plane should be underneath the spoon awesome hit the letter s and let's make this plane bigger and let's go down if you can do to change the color I would like for you to change the color so go to right here materials and we're gonna add a new material and let's pick any color besides white so I'm gonna do gold okay fine you can do gold blue green pink whatever color you want any color besides white awesome and now I'm going to rotate and see how it looks looking good actually I'm going to go back to number seven click on the spoon hit rotate and I'm going to rotate it around where this handle right here is part is touch is going facing towards the camera hit zero awesome I like that I'm going to come up here and click and hit G to move the camera view around this is your camera right here and if you hit render image this is what you're gonna see if you can do it okay and if this comes up and you see this always go to f image save as and you want to go spoon dot PNG and hit save as save image as a spoon dot PNG and this is the one you want to submit now if you cannot do the rendering then just submit to me the blend file with your plane underneath your spoon and that's it we did we did we you are uh, actually learning how to make a spoon using blender 2.8 or 2.81 and like i said earlier all right all right all right you learned something today